Our top story at 630, life or death. More witnesses taking the stand today in the Marquis Floyd trial during his penalty phase. Fox 35's Holly Bristow shows us why witnesses say his problems all go back to his growing up in what they call a war zone. Well, after the prosecution spent the better part of two days telling the jury that Markeith Lloyd had beaten up a cop in the past, that he's a convicted drug dealer, and that he killed two people, the defense is trying very hard to make Markeith Lloyd a likable, relatable person to the jury. Was Markeith in the choir? Yes, he was. Markeith Lloyd's defense team used several of today's witnesses to humanize Lloyd to the jury, make him a likable character. We've heard, does he sing well? Um, according to him, he, he does. <laughs> Lloyd's attorneys asking his younger cousin, Jesse McCree, to describe Lloyd as a person. A, a jokester, really, really funny very protective. Eric Dorsey told the jury he's Lloyd's childhood best friend. I met him in Coffee Shores uh, when, we used to, when we used to go to the boys club. He talked about Lloyd's loyalty. Lloyd served four years in prison for selling drugs. Eric Dorsey telling the jury today the drugs weren't Lloyd's. So the drugs in the box were whose? Mine's. The defense wanting the jury to believe Lloyd is a victim of injustice. Orange County Sheriff's Detective Greg McQuitter also testified. Is that how Mr. Lloyd appeared when you were given custody of his person? Yes, he was. That's how he appeared. He was part of the Fugitive Task Force the night Lloyd was taken into custody for the murders of Sade Dixon and Deborah Clayton. Detective McQuitter testified he was with Lloyd from the time he was arrested until at least an hour later. During that time, was any medical treatment provided to Mr. Lloyd? No, it was not. The defense again taking the opportunity to show how badly Lloyd's face was battered. Did he indicate he needed medical treatment? Yes. Did he indicate repeatedly that he was in pain? Yes, he did. And things are going to pick back up tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Prosecution will get their chance to cross-examine Markeith Lloyd's cousin. After that, the defense will continue presenting their witnesses. For now, reporting at the Orange County Courthouse, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News.